Welcome to today's video where we're taking a look at the Tonor TC40 USB condenser microphone. I got this from Amazon, it cost £52 in the UK at the time of recording. I'll leave links in the description. I'm not connected to or sponsored by Tonor in any way. This is just my personal experience and my honest opinion. So those that are new here, I'm Craig, this is Really Random Reviews. And without further ado, let's get into this. Okay, so in the box, we're met with an instruction manual, which is in color and multilingual. That's nice to see some extra effort taken there. Next, we have the desk mount. This feels very heavy duty. It's got a nice black matte finish to it with the gold printed Tonor logo. We've got a rubber pad on the inside, which will protect the top of your desk, but there isn't one at the bottom. If you was fussy about that, you could always add one. And then you've got your typical J shape, which is very wide. Next, we've got the boom arm. This has a caution sticker on saying spring loaded. So just be aware when you first open this, you don't want it to kick out and hurt you or anything like that. You can see it's got double springs at the joints, two at the top, two at the bottom. It's nice and free moving. You've also got some butterfly threads there to tighten things up if you want it more rigid. Then the boom arm just slots straight into the base nice and freely. And again, we've got some nice swivel action there. Exactly what I'd hope to see. The microphone feels very, very heavy. Okay, that's very nice. It's like a cast metal. Got some honeycomb material there with white diffused plastic or white diffused material behind that. We've got USB A port at the bottom. We've got a volume dial. It doesn't feel like a premium volume dial, but the microphone as a whole definitely feels like a premium microphone with a nice gunmetal gray slash black finish to it. A tap to mute feature at the top. And we've also got a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack so you can monitor your audio levels on the rear side. I really like that honeycomb design. The RGB should come through that nice. So far, so good. I mean, for just over £50, I think it's impressive. Finally, we have a pop filter, a shock mount, and some accessories at the bottom of the box. The shock mount is mostly plastic with a metal insert. It has the tone or branding stamped onto the front, and it looks really good. There's four rubber bands around the outer frame that holds the center disc in place, which should really help reduce unwanted knocks and bangs. The insert is metal with a butterfly nut, which will help when you're trying to keep it in position. The disc has a thread on the bottom too, which locks the microphone into the base, so the microphone is locked in safe and securely. I like this, and inside it also has a circular pad. Again, this should really help reduce unwanted sounds, knocks and bangs. Finally, we have a pop filter, which is again, mostly plastic, with the Tonor branding across the front. It's like a flag shape and it just sticks into the front of the pop filter. It does click and lock into place. And four of these Tonor Velcro straps, which should help with cable management if you choose to use them. And then we've got a USB cable. This is USB 2 to USB B. The cable's not that long, but it's long enough for me. My microphone is based near the PC anyway, so it'll be perfect. Let's throw this together then, take it over to the computer and see how it sounds. If all has gone well, I will probably be using it in this video, so you guys will know by now already. But the plan is to upgrade the audio quality on the channel in general, so I hope we have succeeded. After plugging this into the computer and setting it all up, I have to say I'm really pleased with it. I like the look of it, the build quality, even the desk mount looks great. I like the hexagonal shape and the black finish. The clamp has a wide mouth at around 7 inches wide, so... It's plenty wide enough to fit most desks. Let's go and do some sound tests then and see how she performs. Testing new microphone, one, two, three. Testing the Tonor TC40 microphone. This is a condenser microphone and I've got this to improve the audio quality on my channel. I also tested this out for some gaming and it performed perfectly fine. I like being able to tap and mute whenever I need to. It would be ideal for streamers and content creators, things like that. I also tested it out recording a little bit of music. I'll leave a little clip in here, but you'll have to excuse my amateur guitar playing. Also, I recorded the audio separate from the video footage, so I had to sync that up, which was a little tricky. <laughs> Thank you. 
The range of movement is very good as well, whether you're raising it or trying to lower it, or even just tilt it in a different position, it just stays where you put it. And impressively, it moves very, very smoothly. My old one was really stiff and it was quite hard to fold away. It needed tightening every time I wanted to adjust it. With this, it just moves and swings freely. The only thing you need to loosen and adjust is this section here, and that's if you want the microphone tilted up or down. If you've got the boom arm kind of away from you and you want to tilt the microphone towards you, then you can do this this way. The volume dial is easy accessible, and so is the 3.5mm headphone jack. Like I said, I can't really find any faults with this. The only thing I would say is that the pop filter is permanently positioned, it locks into place, and the microphone is a condenser microphone, so you kind of need to be speaking or singing into the microphone. The tap to mute feature works flawlessly. It's working every single time. You literally just tap the top of the microphone to mute it. The microphone will go red to indicate that it is muted. You could also hold your finger down for two or three seconds. This will turn the RGB off. To turn it back on, you just hold it down for two or three seconds again. The 3.5 millimeter jack on the rear allows you to listen to your audio or if you're recording music, you can hear your timing and stuff without actually recording those sounds. Again, I think it's an excellent feature. And in general, just the look of this thing, I really like it. It suits my setup especially. A quick point of interest though, the RGB is random. It just cycles through that two-tone gradient effect. It looks really good though, and you could always turn it off if you don't like it. The boom arm has little plastic grooves on the corners. This acts as a channel for the cables, and with the Velcro straps, it makes it all look neat and tidy. This gets a massive 5 out of 5 from me. I highly recommend it if you're in the market for a microphone, especially for streamers, gamers, content creators, and so forth. Guys, if you found any part of this video helpful or informative at all, please go ahead and like the video. It really helps the channel. Also, consider subscribing with your notifications on. That way, you never miss any future uploads. Thanks to each and every one of you for being here today. I really do appreciate that. And until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. I'm Craig, this is Really Random Reviews, and I'll see you in my next video.